I guess the other reason why I was kind of low-key mad is that I actually know a guy that worked on the... Uh, on Necropolis. Like, I went to college with him, and I was kind of like... I felt a little betrayed, even though it makes no sense to be. Anyway, Sumire Meyer. You need to start finding us better clients, Darius. I mean it. We've been slumming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years now, and we're drowning in debt. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, Meyer, but I can't just conjure up new clients out of thin air. Bro, do me a solid and back me up on this. Let's see. Is this why you all made me your commander, so I could break up fights and review financial support, uh, financial reports? Damn right it is. It isn't like any of us wanted the job. Darius, could you walk us through the de uh, details of the trouble we're in? Might help if you broke things down point by point. Sure thing, Yang. Point one, Meyer's right. We're in debt. Every sea bill we make technically belongs to the banks. Point two, this corner of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. There are clients, but they're terrible, and that's a fact. That's it. There's no other points. Okay, so we're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? I don't see what else we can do, bro. I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I can find, unless you want to f sidestep the mercenary review board entirely. We're basically out of options. Go around the MRB. No thanks. Taking an uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back. Let's see. Oh, he just got betrayed on a board-certified contract, Yang. How much worse could it get? Plenty. What happened down there was an exception, boss. With uncertified jobs is the rule. Remind me again why we just skip down and head to a nicer corner, corner of the periphery. Because the banks of the jump ship crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're going to keep us on a short leash. Uh, that's a good reason. Look, Darius, Meyer's right. We need to start earning some real money. We need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down that I can't fix with duct tape and good intentions. I've seen the damage the bankruptcy can do firsthand. That isn't going to happen to this crew. You hear that, Darius? The voice of experience speaks. Going around the MRB might kill us, sure. So might a thousand other things, but going broke? That'll destroy this company, guaranteed. It's settled then. I'll start digging for contracts outside the R MRB system. Who knows? Maybe we'll work out for the best. It isn't like we've got all that much to lose. In the meantime, we need to find another paying job, and our prospects in the system have completely dried up. I'd recommend booking travel to a neighboring system and see what the review board has for us. If any luck, we'll find enough work to keep going until something better rolls in. The banks are holding our jump ship access hostage until we can repay our debts. For now, we can only be go between Ur, Kruin, and the nearby systems of Alloway, Bellerophon, and Detroit. <laughs> One of these things is not like the others. Our top priority right now needs to be finding work so we can raise cash. None of the contracts here are very good. I picked out the only viable one I could find, and it helpfully includes our travel fees as part of the de deal. Come by the command center when you're ready to review it. I think I need, need new glasses. That's annoying. Okay, so I do actually have funds. Decker's out of action, though, so never mind. It doesn't matter. We could... Well, let's check the store. So what do I need for a mech? I could get a Vindicator. Partial mech salvage. Well, let's see. It's a medium class. It would cost me a decent amount. I feel like this would be a lot more impactful with full voice acting. Yeah, I I agree. I like I like voice acting a lot. And I don't mind doing it myself, but it gets a little bit much. It costs you more than you'd have than you have to make a mech. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I could just buy one. Okay, so what do we got here? The aggressive intrusion, max pay, max salvage. Our intelligence confirms a lance of Canopian military units engaged in maneuvers on Bellerophon within a region we control. This is an aggressive action and local government operations are at risk as long as the lance is allowed to move unimpeded. Hunt down the enemy lance and, and eliminate it. Okay, anything else we should probably do? We should probably check the mech, mech bear. Any of my guys, like, messed up? Yes. Oh, can I, uh, can I just hit the repair button?
I do also have a locust, but that doesn't seem like a good idea. Damage state requires a refit. Pricey. Uh, let's see. Gotta repair these. How do we get some extra armor on this sucker? Otherwise, we could just not. Let's just not. I'm not sure if I want to carry a spider or a locust. I feel like both of them are just going to get wrecked. The plus. There's a lot of UI here to get through. So, oh, here we go. So that cranks up the armor. Well, yeah, we're just going to we're just going to not. We'll leave it as such and maybe if we're lucky we just won't have to uh, how do I get out of this? I actually had seen no way of just immediately... Oh, wait, no, 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 that was this here. Barracks. Okay, so we can customize characters. Good to go. With extra EXP, you can unlock new things. Now, admittedly, she only has a certain amount of salary. Okay, that makes sense. So, Brothor has pretty much nothing. Multi-target. Sure footing. Bulwark. Or sensor lock. We should probably raise gunnery. Mech warrior training? Because his accuracy is garbage. Commander? I don't think we can do much else. Navigation. Well, I guess we should probably go back to the command center and just go on the next one. You can only get three of those skills in the big boxes. Gotcha. Okay, well, we might as well do this one. Travel to Bellerophon takes 12 days. Sure. So what's salvage versus... We should probably just leave it even. At least for now. Max salvage, 3 out of 12. I don't even know what that means. Okay, first value, priority, salvage. Is the number of items you may choose from all the available in the battlefield. The second value is the total number of items you'll receive. The remainder, with the remainder chosen at random. Be aware that if you destroy enemy mech chassis and equipment, these destroyed items will not be available to salvage. Oh. Okay, so we might want salvage. So two extra parts? Yeah, let's go for that. Because we're going to need a new mech instead. Because I don't want that spider. Okay, so weak. Timeline advancing. So does this just, like, railgun you? Or do you just, like, hang out on the... Oh, you just hang out on a warp ship and it takes you from point A to point B. I wasn't sure if it was just going to, like, slingshot us through space or something at high speeds. But that would make no sense and probably kill everybody on board. So head hits get your three mech parts. Gotcha. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay, crew's ready for the next job. That's good. If I check hiring hall. We do have some other people, but I probably don't want to do that. We're just going to let this go. Okay, shakedown. You're on the Leopard's Bridge of the Suma with Sumair Yang and Darius for the daily staff briefing. Darius says we received three messages from the banks. Loan sharks. Sumair cuts in. From the people who are financing us, Darius continues, they're considering rewriting the terms of our loans, so it'll be easier to seize the ship if we miss a payment. As usual, they're only doing this because they believe we can't fight it in court. Educate the banks about their mistake. I'll deal with it, you say. Later, you record a response. In it, you sternly remind your uh, lien holders that as, a fi that as financial institutions operating on Detroit, the Detroit 3, 
They must abide by local contract law. You even cite the relevant sections of legal code for memory. Then you point out that, as you've kept records of all payments and correspondence concerning the loans, you'll be able to demonstrate in court that their proposed revisions to the agreed-upon terms would represent such a gross violation of the law that you would undoubtedly be awarded a second dropship at the bank's expense. Once the camera's off, Sumire says there's no way they push you on this. Too bad. I'd like to see loan sharks grovel. Okay, there's something about loan status fair. But I don't see that one. But yeah, it looks like going for headshots is going to be kind of tough. Okay, ready to proceed? No, but sure. Okay, so I'm just going to bring these three. We're not going to bring the spider because it's just, it's a death trap. Okay, three, three, and three. Drop tonnage. I don't know if any of this matters. And yeah, we're just going to leave. Oh, we we do have another guy called Medusa. I could send him out in the Locust, but like, good lord. I think the Locust would just die. <laughs> I'm like 90% certain it would not survive. I'm going to do it anyway. Seems like a terrible idea. Okay. Unfortunately, I think this game has really long load times. They even... Yeah, here we go. It's like we had a load screen to get to the load screen to get into the actual battle. Which is unfortunate. Anyway, so we just got to destroy one lance and we get a bunch of things. I'm going to try and headshot it a bunch, but we'll... I don't know if I can actually succeed. Because, yeah, I would like to get uh, some higher tier... Higher tier mechs. Really, I just need a couple of, like, medium ones that aren't garbage. Because my main problem is just, like, the really light guys, they just fold. Command interface initiated. Inspiration lets you use precision shot. Really hard to get consistent headshots with that higher level pilot's got it. We got him, Commander, right out in the open. These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them, take them out. Good hunting, Commander. Oliveira out. Let's see. Zoom! Oh, did we actually... Okay, we saw somebody. Okay, whose turn is it? It's his. I could move up there, but I think he's going to get killed. So probably best that I keep him in the shady side of the mountain. That seems like a decent spot to take a shot. And hi. How are you doing? Well, we did some damage to him. Let's see. Now, does jumping like that actually take... No, it doesn't. I wonder what the uh, downside of jump jets are. I'm not actually sure. Maybe they just... because they can't sprint? Eh, that's probably the case. Well, I don't know how many parts I'm getting from that. Okay, jumping... oh, you're right. Jumping does add heat. Where... oh, yep. So there are... so they are.
Does this little sucker not have jump jets? My god. Uh, can I actually... I'm going to hold him in reserve. Okay. Behemoth. So we can do a precision strike on him. Accuracy is alright. It doesn't get better. So in that case... I don't think it's worth it. I think that was like a 2% accuracy. Maybe later once we have characters with good accuracy, but I think right now killing is better. Because I'd like to get those parts, but... Okay, so let's turn off some of these lasers. Well, the laser's missed anyway. So I guess it didn't do me much good. Yeah, he looks pretty close to dead. Got a couple of machine guns and a medium laser. How much HP does he have left? Not nearly enough to warrant bringing this guy out. And were they aiming at one and hit the other? I think that's actually the case. Okay. Why don't we actually just go for the bonk? Oh, that got him. Milk run, just as we expected. Good work, Commander. Mission oh, well that was fast. So stray shots can hit nearby mechs. Good to know. Okay, so as of the new update today. Cool. Okay, so we destroyed it. Uh, let's see. We barely took any damage there. Just like a smidge of structural and some other things. So it doesn't look like... Oh, I see. So we can grab the crop, crop laser. I mean, honestly, we might as well grab the commando bits. I don't know if the weapons are good. And we get the other stuff anyway. So I should not have gone for the salvage because there weren't enough mechs anyway. I stiffed myself. Like a goon. But, I mean, this is learning. Learning is important. Yeah, ten total salvage, but only four bits in total. Yikes. Well... I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I've never played this before, so learning learning is fun. Yeah, that's usually not the case. Yeah, I think I just destroyed them, and it wasn't great. So financial report. Well, at least we barely took any damage, so that's fine. Welcome to the grease pit. Man. Oh, that's never gonna happen again. Well then, good to know. Because we took a couple more hits than I thought we were, we were going to in there. Well, that's okay. Let's go back to the command center. Always good to see you in Ops, Commander. Okay. So, we could do Terrace Convoy. Well, this one doesn't require any travel. So, guerrilla strikes against our facilities have increased, and our intel says the planetary government is bankrolling the guerrillas and providing logistical support in the form of small arms, explosives, and medical supplies. We need you to intercept local government supply convoy, destroy it. Okay. Commander, this smells political, and that makes me nervous. I suggest we go and take care of the convoy and get out again, without asking too many questions. There's a bonus if we clean up all the enemy forces, but that's at our discretion. Okay, sure. And this time around, I'm just going to keep it even, Stevens. We'll work it as we go. Oh...
Okay, we'll just go without. I didn't think about it, but I should have let some time pass. Let's see, just wait a few days. I think I'll be fine. I don't know how many enemies we have. Let's see, I could have gone back. Well, I didn't. It's it's fine. Like I said, learning learning is fun. And I mean, did you <laughs> did you read the title of the stream? Face rolling is a valid strategy, and that includes beyond just battle tactics. Okay, local government convoy convoy is inbound, Commander. Get eyes on and intercept the vehicles before they can escape the trap. Then we'll extract at our designated location. Good luck, Commander. Oliveira out. Okay, Medusa. Primary target on screen, Commander. Is it? I honestly don't see it. Oh, I see. Denial zone. So destroy the convoy, destroy the convoy escort, stop them from escaping. Okay, you might also have some extra weapons. Removing jump jet lets you add another gun, heat sink, yeah. Okay, I don't know what else I have. We have an enemy con contact. It's probably the escort. That's probably the... Okay, that's actually quite a number of them. My bet is mostly tanks. Concerning, though. Okay, saving game as four. Plus, we can always restart whenever. Okay. Let's hold him in reserve. Hoping to get ins her inside the tree tree line, but no dice. Okay, tanks do not have a heat system. Well, it looks like some of them are tanks. Maybe. My poor locust is going to get wrecked. But if it can pop out and shoot something, then close enough. Okay. So it looks like a lot of tanks with uh, missiles. Okay, Medusa. I could go stomp, but that's going to do nothing. The machine guns. Oops. Why well, not the machine guns? I'm actually kind of confused. Okay, so there there are a couple of mechs up in there. Let's see. If I go there, that gives me a good shot at the tanks at the very least. The machine guns are very short range. Yeah, apparently. 
Kill the striker. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Did half my guns just not fire? Guess not. A lot of little gooners. Okay. That's the striker. I can't do a whole lot of damage to it. There is a mech down there. Did that hit? Certainly doesn't look like it did. This poor locust. Okay. It looked like it died for a second and I got really worried. Like, just how paper thin is this thing? And the answer is not actually. I don't know if that counts as cover. Wow. It is possibly not worth a damn. Okay, Brothor. You gotta keep even with that convoy. Because we gotta kill them before they show up. I can't do anything to this. I, I guess I gotta go closer. Okay, so they've got a locust. So, Striker, Scorpion. Unfortunately, I don't exactly know what counts as a... What counts as one of the uh, ships. Okay. I, I'm assuming those are the primary targets. Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get my blackjack a lot closer. Cause currently I'm trying to ping him from much further away. Ow. And yeah, we gotta kill that quick. Let's see. Now here's a question. Well, that's an angle where everything will hit, at the very least. Hey! He actually got a kill! That's... uncommon. At least it's mostly locust, but this feels like it's going to be costly. Okay, can I... Can I just bonk you? The answer is yes. Okay, Brothor. Where are they? So we just wrecked that one. We've got, like, no heat. And that puts the Blackjack in a very good spot to start shooting the Scorpions. Okay, so we've got a couple of Gooners. They're going to be shooting the Behemoth. Behemoth is starting to take, take some hurt. I do not like. Luckily, we could just go on a stomping fest and more or less kill a lot of them. Oh. Oh, did I lose my machine gun? I did lose my machine gun.
Okay. Yay. The poor locust is not meant for any of this. Okay, so what else do we have? We got two tanks there. I don't see anything else. We got a galleon and a galleon. Oh, when in doubt. Just start punting tanks. Ooh. Yeah, that's starting to hurt. Okay, that should be close. Who do we want to shoot? This one or this one? Overheat warning. Yeah, it's fine. Convoy guards are all down. Let's finish up and get out of here. Okay, Medusa. Should be enough to hit the scorpion. Well, that didn't do biscuits. Oop. Keep getting worried that we might end up with an another cockpit hit. Because that would make me very sad. Oh well. Boop. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. Unfortunately, I don't think... Yep. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you are now. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to get much for salvage from this either, considering most of these were just tanks. Uh, I'm betting it's not going to go great. It, it might be okay. Okay, well, contract payment increased by 25%, mission complete's good. Okay, so, yeah, we took more hurt there than I wanted to. Oh, wow, that's a hell of a lot better. Never mind. Let's see, so I don't care for the Locust stuff at all. Let's see, what do we want? Long-range missiles, 4x10. Hmm. I like those. We could do M lasers. S lasers... 8 by 6. Uh. Oh. You need ammo bins for, for the missiles. Okay. Because I really do like the idea of... Let's grab one of both of these. Okay, and we get some more stuff. Perfect. What I'm thinking is, maybe we can use the uh, the Locust as like a long-range missile platform or something like that. I don't know. You know, I might have some shitty and weak mechs, but if they stay very far away, maybe it's okay? I, I don't really know. Let's see. In later fights, ammo will count and be a killer. You mean like running out? Contact. Alright, everybody. Gather round. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts. And I might, I repeat, might have caught us something. Who's the client? Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message, but she claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. She says that she got a big jo she's got a big job lined up. She wants us for it. Us, specifically. She called the commander out by name. Well, she's got good taste in mercenaries, whoever she is. This all sounds perfectly legitimate and not at all suspicious. You're certain that this client is, isn't really a bounty hunter? Because I can list off about five different banks that all love to repossess this ship. We're shopping for uncertified uncer contracts behind the review board's back, Yang. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for what it's worth, I can confirm that she's rich. She reached out to us with an HPG priority HPG message, and those things ain't cheap. We're hovering way too close to bankruptcy for comfort, Yang. This looks like it could be a way out. Commander's right. We're hemorrhaging sea bills out here. Worth the risk. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? A new client wants vents us out the airlock, and our corpses spend the rest of forever tumbling through the icy vastness of space. 
Thanks for that delightful image, Yang. Look, bro, I'll admit this is sketchy as hell, but it's also the best lead we're likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to Bellerophon. The client will be waiting. Contract to meet with your Canopian mystery client is ready for review in the command center. Take a look when you're ready, Commander. Mech warriors have picked up a fair amount of combat EXP. Head to the barracks to upgrade them. Don't forget, you can check the state of our finances in the terminal in the captain's quarters. If you want to change from our mercenary... Oh, okay, change everything there. Got it. Gonna do some mech repairs. Got it. Well, we should probably do the repairs at the very least. Okay, so that took some damage. Ooh, right. Okay. Let's get rid of the short range missiles. How do we remove them? Keep the jump jets. So, what do we have? Uh, let's see, machine guns, short lasers. We were using AC-5s. Damage 45, range is very long. Otherwise, we have the AC-2s. Okay, so I'll grab one of those lasers. Oh, there are no available laser hand points. Oh, I see. So I can either have the crop large laser. Okay, sure. Well, considering I don't have much else. We could chuck a long-range missile on here. Do I have any more jump jets? Maybe. Okay, so I am overweight. So in that case, let's lose the long-range missiles. I'd almost rather use a separate mech for that one entirely. Are the AC-2s? Oh, they only go there. Do not have... Oh, I see. Right torso only has missile hardpoints. Can I not switch that around? Guess not. Well, honestly, this is probably going to be the best I get anyway. Well, let's see. So in that case... Best order of business... Probably just increase the armor. Can I just, like, take the right arm off? That'd be kind of nice. Strip armor, strip equipment. Max armor. Eh, that'll do, that'll do it. Pricey upgrade, though. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay. So the locust also got kind of wrecked. Oh, let's see. How bad? We lost the right arm. Let's get rid of the machine gun stuff. No matter what, this isn't useful. The M laser is kind of okay. We could just stick the Krupp on it and just have it be a walking laser platform. I guess I could give it the AC too. It is overweight. Well, do we give it the S laser instead? Oh. Let's see, that's extreme range. So maybe not. Maybe strip armor? No. That AC2 is really heavy. I mean, we could just armor the shit out of it and just have it run around with the M laser. Uh, how heavy is the crop? Tonnage is five. Tonnage is one. Let's see, remove ammo. Didn't I? Oh. You're right.
Because, yeah, we could have this thing running around with just a laser at, at very long range. It's not pretty, but it would at least make it useful. Sure, why not? Actually, cancel. Let's skip the let's skip doing this on the locust. Let's put it on the spider. At least they can handle a little bit more tonnage. Why are all of the jump jets there? What is this? Okay, so let's just give it the crop, and then max arm, armor. Okay, so it's a little bit more durable. Yeah, this seems a little bit better. And then everything else is just going to be entirely... I mean, we could... We could straight up make it the armless wonder. We just remove all of the armor tonnage from the arms. I could do that. It would be very silly. Let's not. Let's let's keep it average. Logged and noted. Okay, so it's going to take a couple of days before any of this works. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to the leopard. And let's just pass some time. Probably actually pause for a second. Let's go to the command center. Is it the command? Oh, Captain Quarters. Finances. Okay. So, monthly total is pretty pricey. I gotta stop taking so much damage. Well, let's just, let's just pass the time. Let's just wait here and, uh, wait until my stuff is not messed up. Oh, Taxman's gonna come a-calling, though. I guess the other thing we could do, we go to the store. I bet we could sell some stuff. We could. Most of it is not useful, though. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, never mind. Back to the leopard. I guess we're just going to go mildly into debt, but it'll be fine. Oh. Uh. I should probably look into some other things, maybe. Okay, so Brothor has a little bit of EXP. X with a single weapon, ignore cover, and guard it on the target. Move after shooting if it hasn't moved yet. Extra heat. Or plus one initiative, remove one bar of stability damage when reserving. Our weapons set up to three. Interesting. Well, I should probably do that just for the extra Training accuracy, because that is a little Standing bit more by. important than I thought it was going to be. Okay, piloting guts. Mech warrior training complete. Good to go. Okay. He can't Orders. get it. I'm gonna get him a bit in guts and gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. What does that do? Indirect fire penalty. I don't know if that's really that Waiting helpful. Melee hit. Probably just do base weapon hit for the time being. Yeah, when it comes to pilots, you can only get perks in two classes and a maximum of three perks. Choose wisely. I mean, it seems like investing in gunnery in a lot of the characters is probably worth it. Okay. So we should probably check the command center, see if we've got any cheap, quick, easy contracts. We could do the Benefactor, or we should do the ter Terrace Convoy. That's another convoy. I need money. Ooh. Not great there. 
Okay, fine. Let's just go to the command center. Let's just pick up our benefactor mission. Travel to Bellerophon. Meet your new client. Because, yeah, I could do Terra's Convoy, but that would hurt my reputation. Does that matter? Or do I... Should I do it anyway? 